a lop wa jolo senyu walero a wade azem okutebolin go kuwayo olukalala oba enkalala za banda ba national platform aba people power abali makomera agenja ulo naba ababuzwa atamanikidwa akomi maitie wa jebali mu parliament ye gwanga Uganda anto nako rajo a minister omuja ya kalonde wa baram baruga hale wa bana nabavubuka Yavudeo na tegeza mbwai Nawe kula gani inja ulo Jibate seza ni jeno yuka kutamu seven Nga yala mamu we Nkala za wabannu kwa basiwe Elaba la makole kumulimu ugo Kula gawanda wano bayi mbuwa Mumbela choba mbela chi Adyo senyo ya sazeo Na agama nchi watali kwe kwasa Nga watu watilo kwe kwasa Mbulo tibali na manyaga wa basiwe Chokanga atema kumila jibali Bazina Mupala metu bazi tebo ni zemilundi ya jenja uro Bazi wa desa wa minister na banja na balala Manishi wala ma John Bosco Sami sana banja tuga matina Mbulina ilama njali Choka watimegu zaabu zaabu Tumaina manyaga wa demba gawawe Agami kadima gatebo ni mupala metu Agawe pala metu Gabele public Oye na agagala Agaje mupala metu Agatuwa lejaga logatu wala Balimu kwe kwa asa Mwanitu agawe kutaba na manubu Ate tebatuwa manyaga we Nti Chirungi nyo, liroje na musebe ni ategede, nti bujo nupu biyo gira vya dala. Nti abanda ya basi walua vya ufuzi, so nti no waine misangu. Kwa miyake satu, miyake ena, ngataina ujuli ziwa jayo kwa wabanda vya kuata vya wamba, chibashi tegeza, taina kajuli zinaka mwila ya wakuatila uwe magiba, tibaina musangu, atawuli la chumocheza, chumubali hide, nolecha ya gala, tala imbule, oromu yomu unji, ogumu tudeko. Kali, katukene mparlament, kwe humukulu, joe lo senyo ni. Hii, ngateka ufa ya Bonfire, fire okulaba anga wana wa national unity platform bayi mburu wa bate wa abu wa bako ati wa wemage watali musangu thank you Rainer Rainer was speaker yesterday we for some reason did not have a meeting of minds on a matter that is quite imperative we have discussed in this house missing Ugandans on account of their political affiliations, people who are in jail for years, some over three years, because of their political persuasions. Trial has not kicked off because there's no evidence against them. And like I called it yesterday, it's persecution as opposed to prosecution. Honorable Speaker, these matters are in the public arena. We have tabled those lists here in Parliament several times, forwarded the same to the Prime Minister, forwarded the same to Uganda Human Rights Commission, and they are also on court record because these people are being processed through courts of law. Honorable Speaker, I, I seek your indulgence so that I, for the umpteenth time, table those lists again so that there be no excuse. From, from anybody, because there are people who are saying, you see, NEP is not availing these lists, uh, because all of a sudden there are some people who are saying they care so much about these people. It's good that they now agree with us that these people are simply being persecuted. Otherwise, if there was any offense they committed, three years down the road, somebody should have been tried. So it's good that they are seeing what we have been saying. So, Rural Speaker, for there to be no pretense, and for there to be no excuse, especially from government officials, who sit here with us in Parliament, where we have tabled these lists. I seek your indulgence that I table these lists again, so that the Right Honourable Prime Minister, the Attorney General Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, and anybody else, anyway, who has interest in this matter, the same way we do have interest in this matter, and thinks they can pick it up, they will then have access to the record. There should be no pretense, Right Honourable Speaker. That's the procedure in the that I seek, right, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Now, Honorable Senior, in the Parliament, when colleagues come here to submit, they are not pretending. They mean serious business. Uh, yesterday, the Honorable Baram raised this issue. The Honorable Baram has not been a government official, has not been a member of Parliament. These are issues you are giving to government officials, anyone, okay, and had not received any prior copy of those 
So I took it that he was asking in good faith. And to me, considering how we've grappled with this issue, anyone who can put a block, anyone who can use their own tactics, might be tactics, their influence, their, we give them chance, okay? So that these young people uh, who are alleged uh, to be uh, in prison can be, uh, 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 can be helped. So I know, please, the speaker is speaking. You don't interrupt the speaker. When he's speaking, we we'll proceed. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. So um, I know we received the copy, but for it to be witnessed by the Honorable Baron, okay, and I'll ensure that indeed he receives it before he lives here. Uh, Honorable Senior, you can lay on the table. The copy now. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. You know, yesterday when I mentioned the issue of orientation. Some people thought I said it in bad faith. We all do need it. When we got here in Parliament, we had to be oriented. And we continue to learn. You know, so uh, it's a good thing that when new members do join us, if there is information they require, maybe they should be helped. We have to access it. Because like you have rightly said, right, Honorable Speaker, we table those lists severally, and so they are within the records. However, for there to be no excuse anymore, I would like to lay on table uh, number one, the list of NDP supporters on remand in various courts, the likes of Olivia Lutaya and others who have been held for over three years, trial has not kicked off. And we have been demanding and continue to demand. And it really was was the procedure for the, being, you just read the document and you lay. Right, Mr. Speaker, I was simply explaining the document that I am laying. And so I have laid that list. I'd like to also lay the list uh, of missing NDP supporters which has John Bosco, Chibalama, and others, who, by the way, the Prime Minister told us was arrested and she knows where he is. I lay on table right, Honorable Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. You know, colleagues, managing politician is a difficult job. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but, uh, yes. Abraham Kuromo is still talking. The Speaker is heard in silence. You know what the rules say. Then after... Okay, so uh, honorable colleagues, thank you, thank you, honorable senior. Uh, I, I think this is okay, honorable colleagues, and and it's courtesy, okay. And uh, I urge you, honorable colleagues, you know, the best way to win an argument on this floor of parliament is by being courteous to each other. The, that way, you win many hearts, you win, you know, the moment you do that, then we focus on the argument, okay. Uh, thank you, Honorable Senior. Uh, please, clerk, ensure that a copy is formally given to the Honorable Baram Bargahara as he requested. Okay. Uh, proceed, Honorable Enosad, but I hope it's not on this issue. So this is a closed okay. issue. Okay. It's on uh, how we handle business. Uh, right on the speaker, Rule 25 of our rules of procedure is very clear on the order of business and how we get to have matters on the order paper. Is it procedurally right? Because you keep insisting that we follow the rules of the House. Is it procedurally right for members to keep bringing items to be discussed when they are not on the order paper, claiming that it's a procedural matter? Now, on, 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 on our colleagues, you see, if I was to interpret these rules strictly, most of you would have trouble. Most of you would have trouble here. So depending on the situation and on the issue, if something is, is solving a problem, I, I'll be flexible. Huh? That, that flexibility, yeah, that flexibility is needed. But indeed, like one of is saying, let's try to remain in the reign of rules. Yes, uh, only whatever you write a procedure matter. Yes, right, honorable speaker. But right, honorable speaker, you said we should not comment on any on uh, what you Lop had commented. But right, honorable speaker, my request to Lop. Right, honorable speaker, even us members of NRM feel for those people who are in custody. We request that when we get volunteers who are ready to intervene in this thing, let's put politics outside of this. And you get people ready to help. 
But what happens right on a low speaker, on most occasions, when somebody is moving towards getting a solution, now you see the party coming in, people trying to play politics here and there. So right on a low speaker, through your office, given that law now has presented, has tabled, and has said that is going to work with the members who are ready to intervene, we request that this time we don't want politics to get involved. Let's solve this, whether it's an NRM person is solving it, whether any other person is intervening, let's have it right on our done. Thank you. But I, I see order in the house. So, as I don't know, when I have income, there is no one on the floor when I was send you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, right on our speaker. Point of order granted. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I have tabled the list, and you have advised that whoever wants to have access to these lists. Honorable uh, Senior, please just. So, just allow me to raise my. No, just raise it a bit. Rule 78 of our rules of procedure. Point of order applies when there is someone on the floor. Now I don't have anyone holding the floor. But then also, there is when we have order to do with like decorum in terms of dressing. That's why I was insisting. I thought you've seen someone maybe who has no tie, someone putting on slippers. That's why I was allowing. Okay? Okay? So, you get it. But if it is on the matter which we have just finished, never colleagues, let's, let's close this matter. Let us not exchange. My brother, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Let's close this matter. One of the I hope it's not on the same. Uh, right, Honorable Speaker, for the record, I am moving under Rule uh, 7 and 8. Uh, because uh, I'm finding what we are discussing is strange and I will need your guidance. Uh, we have the amnesty law in this country. Uh, I was not privileged to hear the submission of the good addition from Bunyoro yesterday, uh, but with the lists laid on the floor of the house, I am asking myself, uh, when the lists are laid on the floor of the house on the request from Honorable Baram Barugai, is are we handling some kind of amnesty process? Are we handling some kind of amnesty process? Because as far as I know, when you are suspected to commit a crime. You are produced before courts of law and a due process is followed. It is those who, who choose to ask for amnesty and formally apply for it in the amnesty commission. In the amnesty commission that <laughs> Uh, are given amnesty. So uh, maybe I, I said I was not privileged uh, to hear the submissions from my honorable colleague. I said a good addition from Munyoro. Uh, was he applying for amnesty? Thank you. Thank you. Another good addition from Bunyoro to, to, to this house. The Honorable Barugahara Baram said here on the, on, on the floor yesterday that he would also now as a member of cabinet he would want to be appraised on this matter and see how we can contribute his effort. Like how other people have been contributing their effort. 
So the information provided here is for him to also add the effort on the other efforts that have been going on to solve the matter. So to me, as long as someone knows he's going to add value, now he, by the way, now he has authority. Hey, this is not the Baram we knew of. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Yesterday he reminded us, he said, I'm a full minister now. <laughs> so we only need to wish him well. And we give him all the support necessary. You never know uh, where his hand can reach. So let's give him that support. Now, one of your colleagues, uh, Hmm, na bivyo, mimi ni mparlamenti wangu Uganda, Jolo Senyun, amaze kuwa yuko kutebolinga, amani yangu Uganda wa fe, abawa kuatibua, abawa ambibua, abawa muzi watamani kipua kumaiti, mparlamenti wangu Uganda, mmoja ukala la machuwa la ma, yuko mlima la ba misi, ba misi, na watamani kipua kwa jibali, ruadeo, nuli kwa ba wila, abasoa makumi yana, abali makumi ya, ishitaria, uzi ila neshigo batari na musangu ama zemi ya kesatu wewili gumu mnyezi makumela ndabazo mzi wa makoti watari ujulizi wawuza chino na chili chino na chili chino na chili ngaete bate wa katika kulabi hii wajinu msewe la rapa wa amuneste ringa agama mnu tusawine studia kujisaba kumatuwa ina musangu wadwari agama kumela mkumela wa netu wela wakumu kumela chufu na ye bagi na kuta bagi na mtuwaza msangu chi kwa kuti ino kusala hoji wadwari msangu wa tanya kati yungu seven adina kuta bagi chi wakutu kutu ino kamusu nye mkua ABCD ima basha basu wa utawa kabu chi watuwa ina msangu wa zakari afini ino ina vayo fiwasa tulua wa damanda kama tuwa fi tuwa ina kwe kwasa mwatewe kwasa wanya nilwa gani ya mtuwa ya kwasa wanya 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 Bara ni umi na kukumbuka matunda sawa kumi. Kwa damu, kwa damu, wanawa kiza, dunda, lugawa na mungeka, bata imewa.